A young and charming lady from New York named Lucy flies to Italy where she will be spending her summer. She later arrives at a villa owned by the friends of her late mother. Outside, she rouses the slumbering Diana, and the woman is so glad to see her. She calls her husband Ian, and they talk about Lucy's mother who recently passed away. Lucy's father sent her to Italy so Ian can make her a portrait, same as what he did for Lucy's mother. The young lady later goes to the villa's pool where she meets Miranda, Diana's daughter from a previous marriage. Miranda introduces Lucy to her boyfriend Richard who is an entertainment lawyer. Richard later gets but naked and joins Lucy in the pool. During dinner, Miranda gets a call from her brother, saying that he and Niccolo could not make it. They talk about the boys, and Lucy felt sad because she could not see Niccolo, her first kiss. Diana later gives Lucy her mother's dress, and she reminisces how she admires the adventurous life of her late friend. Diana says she is not as daring as Lucy's mother, that's probably why she and Ian remained faithful for the past 20 years. At bedtime, Ian is puzzled why Lucy's father wants a portrait for her daughter when he hated the portrait he made for his wife. Diana thinks that perhaps it is Lucy who wanted to come. Meanwhile, Lucy is finding it hard to sleep as she is just crying all night. The sickly man next door named Alex knocks, asking Lucy if she has cigarette. She later gives him one, and while smoking, Alex says that his doctors gave him a few months to live. They later talk about romance, and Lucy admits that she is still a virgin. She asks Alex if he remembered her mom wearing green sandals, to which the man says he isn't sure. Alex asks why she wouldn't want to sleep with anybody, and Lucy shares about Nico Lowe, her first kiss. They used to write each other letters, but then it suddenly stopped. Alex deduces that she is afraid of having a man in her life, but Lucy wouldn't tell the reason behind it. The next day, the ladies prepare breakfast, and Diana is surprised to see Alex joining them. She asks what is inspiring him, and Alex admits that it is Lucy. Lucy later joins them, and the ladies debate on who would be the ideal boyfriend for her. Ian and Diana's daughter Daisy comes over, and having known Lucy before, she takes the guest to the nearby lake. Lucy confides that she once shared a kiss there, and Daisy casually tells her that Miranda likes kissing boys. She enumerates the boys she kissed, including Nico Lowe. That evening, Lucy asks Diana about Carlo, because her mother used to receive letters from him. Diana says he is a war veteran who lives nearby, and he can meet her if she wants. Lucy then asks if her mother fell in love with someone in their town, but before Diana could answer, Ian interrupts them as it is already time to make Lucy's portrait. As he is sketching Lucy, Ian comments that her eyes have a sort of joy unlike her mother's. The girl asks him if he has eaten olive leaves, and Ian says no because they are inedible and disgusting. He later says that they are done for the night, and Lucy kisses him goodnight. The next day, Carlo arrives at the villa. He was invited by Diana because Lucy wanted to meet him. Lucy is playing with Richard and Daisy, and Miranda notices that her boyfriend is already getting touchy with the young lady. Carlo later talks with Lucy, and she tells him that her mother used to mark her calendars every time she receives a letter from him. Carlo asserts that they were merely friends and that they've only met one night. Lucy asks him if he ever killed a viper, and Carlo says yes. When he left, Alex tells Lucy that Carlo would not be a good man for her. The young lady says she likes him, and Alex says it breaks his heart. When the two heads to the garden, they overhear Diana talking about Lucy being a virgin. Lucy realizes that Alex told them her secret. Fuming, Lucy storms off to her room and calls the airline to book a ticket back to New York. But before she can finalize her flight, Miranda's brother arrives, and together with him is Nico Lowe. However, the young lad barely remembers her. Nico Lowe's brother Osvaldo also arrives and says that he remembers Lucy very well. Lucy fixates on Nicolo, hinting that she hasn't yet been intimate with anyone because she desires him to be her first. Alex asks Diana if Lucy is still angry, but then they see her dancing joyfully in her room. After dinner, the young ones share stories about their first times. Lucy feels uneasy and requests that they just talk about love. She asks Nicolo if he has fallen in love, and the young lad says he does not use that word. Osvaldo looks a bit jealous while watching the two, and he later walks out. The next day, Richard goes to Lucy's room, asking for a stick of cigarette. She gives him one, but Miranda's boyfriend seems to have another motive. He teaches Lucy an exercise that actors do during intimate scenes, and the young lady plays along with it. Richard is about to get the chance, but Miranda unfortunately catches him. He tries to explain as his girlfriend storms off. Lucy later visits Nicolo's house, only to be heartbroken, as she witnesses him kissing another girl. She rushes back to the villa, and Osvaldo tries to call her, but Lucy ignores him. 
she accidentally falls off the bike, and Osvaldo tries to help her, only to be rejected the second time. Lucy runs into a lieutenant whose car has broken down. She guides him to the villa so he could use a phone. After the call, the women ask him to stay until his ride arrives the next morning. Lucy heads to her room and finds Alex waiting for her. He apologizes for failing to keep her secret, and the young lady forgives him. Noticing her scraped knee, Alex tends to her wound. The old man tells Lucy that she is better than any of his medicines, and she kisses him before leaving. Everyone is having dinner in a pizza house when Nicolo arrives with Gabriella, the girl that Lucy caught he was making out with. They sit at a separate table and Lucy just watches in jealousy. The next day, Lucy poses for another of Ian's sketches. The artist later whispers something to her, and so Lucy takes off her dress to expose one of her bosoms. Nicolo arrives with his brother, and while his eyes are glued to the model, Osvaldo is put off by Lucy's exposure. After the art session, Nicolo follows Lucy as she heads to the Olive Grove. The young lad starts seducing her, and as he becomes aggressive, Lucy realizes that he is not the one she loved once. She stops his advances and rushes back to her room. She later goes to Alex and tells him about her mother's diary. She reads the poem about the night her mother made love with another man. It mentions her green sandals, the viper that her lover killed, and the olive leaf that he fed her. As she starts sobbing, Alex continues reading for her, and it is revealed that her mother's lover has an Italian accent and is married. The poem concludes that the affair bore fruit, and it is Lucy. Lucy reveals that the real reason she went back to Italy is to find her real father. She asks Alex if it is him, but the old man says he couldn't have beaten a viper. Carlo is one of her prospects, but she is unsure about him yet. Nicolo's family hosts their annual party that is attended by most of the townspeople. Lucy invites Carlo to dance, and she asks the war veteran if he went back to Italy in August of 1975. Carlo says he didn't, so Lucy confirms that he is not her biological father. She later gets to meet an Englishman named Gregory, and the two get acquainted quickly. As they are heading home, Osvaldo tells Lucy about his plan to go to America and he wants to talk to her about it. Lucy tells him to meet her tomorrow, and Gregory pulls her away, leaving Osvaldo alone. When they reach home, Lucy hugs Gregory and tells him that there will be no kissing. She makes a noise, making sure that everyone will see them, and they would think that she will no longer be staying a virgin. While Gregory rests in her bed, Lucy goes to Alex and tells him that she brought a man in her room. Alex is heartbroken inside, but he disguises it with a fake smile. Lucy goes back to her room and sleeps on the couch while the gentleman Gregory sleeps in her bed. The next day, Lucy sees off Gregory and thanks him for being a gentleman. Shortly after, the sickly Alex is carried on a stretcher as he will be transported to the hospital. Lucy gives him a cigarette as a gift, and Alex thanks her for the joy she brought him. Lucy's quest to find her real father is now down to one person, and it is Ian, Diana's husband. She asks him what was he doing in August of 1975, and Ian remembers that it was the time when he made a portrait of Lucy's mother. Lucy says it was also the time she was conceived, implying that she was the product of Ian's affair with her mother, and that he is her biological father. They embrace, reveling in the joy of finally finding each other. Later that day, Lucy gets attacked by bees, and Osvaldo comes to her rescue. He suits her bee stings with clay, and Lucy adores his chivalry. Osvaldo later confesses that he has a crush on her, and that he wrote her letters before. He did not sign it though, that is why Lucy thought it was from Nicolo. Osvaldo recites the contents of the letter, confirming that it really is from him. While sitting on the tree, Osvaldo cries. Lucy asks him why, and the young lad says because he wanted to kiss her, but he is scared. And so, the young lady initiates the kiss for him. During dinner, Daisy wonders where Lucy is. Unbeknownst to them, Lucy and Osvaldo are lost in passion under the tree, illuminated by a distant bonfire. Lucy feels relieved and elated that her first intimate experience is with Osvaldo, who proves to be kind and gentle. The following morning, they walk back to the villa together, making plans for Osvaldo to accompany Lucy back to New York. Did you like our movie recap? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To be updated for new movie recaps, hit the notification bell.